this is Aiden's Toy Trove. I'm here today with Repeat the Beat. He is the number 711264. He was a Briarfest 2017 uh, store special run, meaning that he could be purchased in the Briar store without a ticket, but he was put out in very limited quantities. So if you were at Briarfest, you might have seen Repeat the Beat alongside Dally and Spanky, this really cute duo, uh, Shetland Pony and Little Terrier Dog absolutely adorable. One thing I wanted to point out this year was Briar's very colorful use of boxes. So all, all the Briar Fuss models were in really super cool, unique boxes. Like this is Dalian Spanky who are in this dark green. And then Repeat the Beat was in this pretty uh, darker green on the bottom and uh, kind of bluish color on the top. Really pretty box. And even Mr. Nazrudin was in a, a gorgeous purple box uh, with a little bit of green. Indian theme. So Briar really went all out with their packaging this year. Super duper job. Today I'm going to be deboxing this lovely Repeat the Beat. Uh, Briar did completely sell out of these at Briar Fest, so you will not see any of these at the Briar Fest leftovers or on the Briar Fest leftovers for the website. Briar did recently offer um, Briar Fest leftovers to three day ticket holders for a couple days. Uh, the last day for order was yesterday, I believe, so they're now off the website. If I recall correctly, the um, markup on those was about $10 a model, so they were about $10 more than you would pay at uh, Briarfest, plus shipping. So shipping for one traditional horse was, I think, $14.50, and the only models that they had were Saffron, Holly, Kaylee, and um, who am I forgetting? Oh, the cow. The cow who I always forget her lovely name. It's not Holly. It's, uh, it's, um, it'll come to me. But it's not Holly. The white cow. That's all they had left over in, um, the Briarfest leftovers, though. So there was no, um, leftover repeat the beats or Dalian Spanky. Uh, this piece sold, particular piece sold for $75 in the Briar store. Uh, again, completely sold out. Nice job on the packaging, pretty blue color, nice background. Uh, I'll give you just a little bit of a close up on repeat the beat there, but we'll get uh, him out of the box. He is a real Tennessee walking horse and he was present at Briar Fest. Uh, we were so busy standing in line that I honestly did not get a chance to get out and see any other real horses, which was a bummer. So I didn't get to see Nazruddin and who I really, really wanted to see was Fantasia Del C and Gazosa SCS. And I saw them from a different distance, but I did not get to do anything at Briarfest this year. I appreciate all of our customers that we did um, pickups for, but I just, I don't know if that's something we'll continue to do. It's so stressful and it really, honestly, it takes all day. I can say the weather this year was absolutely fantastic at Briarfest. It was like maybe mid to high 80s. The humidity wasn't too bad, so the weather was cool. Um, this year the tent had, uh, it was enlarged and it had misting fans covering most of the tent. So really it was quite pleasant weather-wise. It was definitely hot, but um, not as bad as last year. So this repeat the beat um, and the other store special run, Dally and Spanky. They were placed in the Briar store to what appeared to be random times um, by Briar. So um, you just kind of had to keep your eye out for them. There weren't any left after um, the closing ceremonies or around that time on Sunday. Okay, this is the Bluegrass Bandit Mold that was sculpted by, I believe, a collaboration of Kathleen Moody and Summer Parosser. Uh, this is after a real uh, Tennessee walking horse who goes by the nickname Pete. He is a gorgeous, gorgeous black, looks like Sabino. He has, Briar at least has him with um, very fine roaning there. I think you can make it out on his barrel. It covers his entire body. And then he has these fancy dancy Sabino markings on his belly. So he doesn't have a lot of big spots, uh, just uh, some little spot, belly spots like you would see on a Sabino. He has a cute pink nose. He has detailed eyes. Gorgeous, gorgeous. He has natural colored hooves with the painted on horseshoes as well as the uh, the gray 
puff stripes. Oops, looks like this guy got a little blobby on his horseshoe. But other than that, he is totally lovely. Love him, love him, love him, love him. So let me put Mr. Pete down over here um, and I will grab the box and uh, read you what Briar has to say about Repeat the Beat. Repeat the Beat, AKA Pete, is not your ordinary Tennessee walking horse. No longer the high-stepping show horse he once was, today he is the high-flying, triumphant, oddly colored little horse that leaps into the hearts of everyone he meets, and he has proved that there can be a different future for Tennessee walking horses. When owner Lisa Murray discovered that Pete could jump, she was initially a bit baffled, but she had had enough of the Tennessee walking horse show circuit and wanted to give Pete a different life. She found several young women who were willing to give Pete a try, and his new vacation was underway. It wasn't long until Pete had his own team of highly skilled riders campaigning him in jumpers, three-day eventing, and handy hunter field tests. After finding the success at small shows, the team decided to go full force. The most important thing to me was that Pete fit in, says Lisa. Our goal was for Pete to be taken seriously and accepted for his abilities. For that, we began, we began gaining respect from our competitors. Pete's willingness and happy attitude stands out, and he has a huge following as the little horse who can. When critics see him jump with his fancy white knees perfectly tucked in his signature tail flip after each jump, they just fall in love. Clear round after clear round, Pete wins over the skeptics. As one of the writers says, repeat the beat is living proof that you should never judge a book by its cover. This horse is all heart and will give you 100% with every ride. For owner Lisa Murray, Pete is everything she ever wanted in a horse. And with every jump that he takes, Pete proves the true scope of the versatile Tennessee walking horse. Wow. That's really awesome. I don't know if some of you are probably familiar with the Big Lick controversy. Uh, Big Licks are banned, and it's when they uh, make alterations to the horse's feet and uh, cause them pain to get an extra big, um, a big lick walk or stride out of them, and that is no longer allowed. So. I'm very grateful for that because it was very uh, cruel to the horses. Some of you may remember the Briar Midnight Sun Mole who was in a big lick uh, walker trot or whatever that gate is called. And Briar discontinued that mold um, out of um, respect for the horse because they did not uh, want to endorse um, big licks anymore. So as far as I can think, this is Briar's only traditional Tennessee walking horse mold. I sometimes see the American Saddlebred, the standing one. Um, sculpted by Kathleen Moody, shown as a Tennessee walker. But this guy is an unnatural Tennessee walker, flat shod. You don't see the platform shoes, you don't see any chains. Um, and this really makes me happy that the Tennessee walker uh, has moved into um, other events like show jumping, like Mr. Pete here. That's really cool because horses are so talented and they shouldn't. Um, be stuck to one big thing for a gate that they couldn't even naturally perform. So this is Pete, and again, he was at Briarfest. I did not get a chance to see him, but I bet you could look up on YouTube some uh, videos of the real Repeat the Beat. Um, I'm also going to take some better pictures of this fellow and put them on the website uh, in better lighting. Uh, this is just my kitchen table, so um, the lighting isn't the best, and you probably aren't seeing all of his little details but you're probably seeing some things that you wouldn't see in the pictures. So I wanted to make sure that you got as many views of him as possible. His underbelly is signed Briar, Briar Fest 2017 uh, in silver ink. Uh, this piece was limited to 1,000 pieces, again, on a very popular mold and a very flashy color. So I expect this guy to um, definitely hold his value and probably increase in value. He has a nice um, gray shading. Uh, and then a white tip on his tail. I like that. Briar did a nice job on that. So not too overdone, just really nice. I actually, I like his color a lot more than I like um, Kaylee's uh, Ronin style. Kaylee has resist uh, style dappling, not dappling, Ronin, kind of around her flanks. Um, and I do believe that I have a video of her up on YouTube or will be posting a video of Kaylee to YouTube as well, so you could uh, take a look uh, at that video to compare the different roaning styles. Um, and then I'm just taking one more look at this guy. He does not have any mapping on his spots, but that's actually probably a good thing because um, that tends to be an area where Briar uh, creates boo-boos. 
very nicely done. Um, a lot of the models that I saw in the Briar store, they um, were definitely uh, had flaws, like they had goobers in their finish. None of them looked like they'd be flaws that would be unfixable, but a lot of them had um, the roning that went over onto their mane. So I handpicked the nicest ones that I could, and we will have a couple for sale, but not many. Um, we uh, were limited on the numbers that we could buy and the numbers that we could bring home. This particular fellow was sold and he is on his way to Canada along with a Bollywood surprise model. So he already has a home. And I think that's all I have to say about Repeat the Beat. Thanks for watching.